Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the number one question I'm getting out of this chapter is how the heck do I do this step down or sequential allocation or distribution of service department costs? So I'm going to work through this pretty complex step down method problem. I provided the this document that you're looking at um, to you guys on Blackboard, so hopefully you've got that in front of you. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to distribute expenses of the service department um, following the procedures and the order of distribution. Order of distribution is important because remember when we get costs we then turn around and allocate them out. We don't keep them for long. They come in and we send them out. The other thing is that each type of cost may be allocated based on a different basis driver or criteria. In this case, utilities are going to be <clears throat> allocated out partly on metered hours and partly on heating and lighting. So I have 30% of it that's going to go based on square footage. 70% of it is going to go based on metered hours. The maintenance department is a little simpler. They're simply saying maintenance hours excluding utilities. <clears throat> when we get down to material handling and factory office we can see that we're simply going to do it on a percentage basis but when we absolutely finish then we're also going to apply factory overhead rates and we're going to do them either based on pounds or direct labor cost. So hold on to your hats uh, it's going to take me a while to work through this, but once I'm done, hopefully the light will come on. All right. I'm going to work with a cost distribution sheet. And basically what I've got is I've got three sections here. This first section up here is all my operational data. What that tells me is how much of each cost driver each department used. How much was the total, and then how much of each different cost driver did each one of these departments use? And we're going to be, be using those in determining percentages or portions of these costs to be distributed. I also have, um, I've got expenses. And so we can look and see how much costs, how much cost did each department start with and how much are they going to allocate out? Remember though, there's that little catch in that if if the maintenance department gets costs from utilities, I'm going to add it to my total before I send my cost back over to the production departments. Remember, if I'm getting costs, I'm giving them away just as quick as I possibly can. All right, I'm going to start with utilities. Remember that I said that utilities were going to be distributed on a split basis. Well, what that means is 70% of them are going to go out based on metered hours, 30% are going to go out based on square footage. So what do I have in the utilities department in terms of costs? Well, I've got $7,200, except I'm now going to have to split that, and I'm going to split it 70-30. And once I've split it, then I'm going to distribute it. So let's see what that actually looks like. Down here, what I know is that the preparation department, the prep department, used, based on metered hours, they used 1,500 hours. Well, they used 1,500 of 5,000 hours, except instead of taking this 57, or pardon me, the $7,200 and distributing it all at once, I'm going to split it up. So down here, what I'm going to say is 70%, 70 percent, 70 percent of $7,200 is $5,040. 30 percent of $7,200 is $2,160. And based on this, I'm actually going to allocate out this $5,040 based on on metered hours. So my first calculation down here becomes 
1,500 hours is what percentage of 5,000? I'm simply going to divide it, and it's going to come up to 30%. And I want to allocate 30% of $5,040, which in this case comes up to 1512 Same thing over here in the mixing department. I have 1,800 metered hours divided by 5,000 hours is going to give me roughly 36%. What am I allocating out? That 70% of $5,040, which means to the mixing department, I'm going to give $1,814 worth of costs. Packaging, exactly the same, except here I only have 700 meter hours out of 5,000, which is going to give me about 14% times the $5,040 that I'm allocating out means that I'm going to give them $706 worth of these costs. But whoa, wait, I get up here and I go to utilities, they have none. Well, Service departments a lot of times do not allocate costs back to themselves, so we simply skip that one. If there's no value for a cost driver up here, then that means that they're not allocating costs to themselves. We just move on to the next one. The next one happens to be maintenance. Maintenance has 500 out of 5,000 hours, which we know is 10% times that 5,000 and $40 tells us that we allocate $504 to maintenance. Simply going to do the exact same calculation for material handling. 300 divided by 5,000 equals 6% times the $5,040 means I'm going to give them 302. Last but not least is the factory office who only uses 200 whoops, sorry, 200 meter hours divided by the 5,000 is going to give them roughly 4% times the $5,040 is going to mean that they get approximately $202. So what I've got is I've simply gone through that math, I've made those calculations, and now I want to double check to see if I'm even close to being right. Well, what I should know is that all of the allocations that I've made across these departments here and over here should total up to what I was originally intending to allocate out. So if I take and I add all those numbers together, I get $5,040. So I have, if I am the utility department, I have now gotten rid of $5,040 worth of my costs. Now I need to turn around, I need to allocate out this $2,160, but in this case I'm going to base it on square footage. So now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to look at how much square footage did everybody use. Well, whoops, well the utility department has square footage. I mean, they've got to have an office someplace. The key is, is we don't allocate to ourselves, remember? So if we don't allocate to ourselves, then the total that we're using for our basis is not 53,000 square feet. It's 50,000 square feet. So up here, I'm only going to use 50,000 square feet as the basis for my allocation, which means when I come down here to start allocating based on floor um, based on floor space or square footage, it's going to be 18,000 square feet divided by 50,000 square feet. And that 18,000 square feet divided by that 50,000 square feet is going to give me 36%. That 36% is going to be multiplied by that $2,160 and what I know is that's going to give the prep department $778 worth of costs based on, for utilities, 
based on square footage. So when I get over to the mixing department, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say I've got 13,000 square feet. Remember, out of just 50,000, not 53, but just 50,000 square feet, right? So when I get down here, I'm again going to go 13,000 divided by 50,000 equals 0 0.26, 0 0.26 times $2,160 is going to equal 562. I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of the departments all the way across except for except for the utility department. Remember, we're not allocating cost to ourselves. We're getting rid of it. But I'm going to do it for the 12,000 square feet for packaging, the 2,000 for maintenance, the 1,000 for material handling, and the 4,000 square feet for the factory office. So how do I know I'm right? I'm going to add these numbers up again, and I'm going to say, did I allocate out 100% of my costs? Well, all I've got to do is I've just got to go through, and I've got to add these plus these, and it should give me 2160, which is the same amount that I had. So what I now know is that the total amount that I have allocated out of this department is the total of $7,200, which means I have now allocated out 100% of my utility costs, which leaves me a zero balance there. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute, and uh, keep on working.